Well, for this week's WeatherWise segment, I wanted to go over tornadoes, including their dangers and how to stay safe. So let's take a look. Tornadoes are defined as a violently rotating column of air with circulation that reaches the ground. Tornadoes form from cumulonimbus clouds and can be spotted by spinning dust and debris under the base of the cloud. Tornadoes can be formed at any time, but mainly we see them in the late afternoon or evening. Now, the National Weather Service ranks these violent weather phenomena with an enhanced Fujita scale. This is based off of three-second wind speeds and damage reports. NEF Zero would have wind speeds between 65 and 85 miles per hour, and you would see broken branches and shallow-rooted plants pushed over. NEF One would be between 86 and 110 miles per hour, and this can lead to stripped roofs, overturned mobile homes, or broken windows. The EF2 has wind speeds between 111 miles per hour and 135 miles per hour. Some possible damage includes roofs being torn off of homes, mobile homes would be destroyed, and large trees can be uprooted. An EF3 has wind speeds between 136 and 165 miles per hour. Some damage includes cars being lifted, trees being debarked, and severe damage to large buildings. An EF4 is extremely dangerous with wind speeds up to 200 miles per hour, which could level well-constructed homes and cars could be tossed in the air. An EF5 has wind speeds above 200 miles per hour, and the associated damage include the total destruction of strong framed homes, concrete structures could be critically damaged, and cars can be thrown upwards of a mile. So where's the best place to be if you're under a tornado warning? Well, first off, you'll want to tune into 47 ABC to see where that tornado warning is. Then if you're in that area that's under the threat, move to the lowest level of your home, preferably a basement, and avoid those windows. But if you don't have a basement, head to a small center room like a bathroom or a closet in your apartment or dorm. Being in a car can be extremely dangerous, so get away if you can. If not, stay buckled, get low, and cover yourself with a blanket or a sweatshirt. And if you have time, a ditch would be a much safer place. Now, a big piece is to have a plan prior to any severe weather event and to actually practice it throughout the year with your family. And if you would like some more information on how to prepare for a tornado, just head over to my social media pages and I'll post some links in the next couple of minutes.